Hellbound is the South Korean Netflix series all about the rise of demon attacks around the world, but what exactly happens at the end? Hellbound is another South Korean hit series for Netflix. Currently at number one on the charts, it is following the success seen by Squid Game from earlier this year. However, this show couldn't be more different as it introduces viewers to a world overcome by murderous demons, cult worship, and detective drama. What is Hellbound about? Hellbound wastes no time in establishing this strange new world to viewers, immediately showcasing a brutal demon attack. All over the world, massive gray monsters are appearing to kill specific people, sending them to the depth of hell for their sins. At least this is what the new truth wants the public to believe, a rising cult that preaches a warped Christian doctrine. They believe that the demons are killing people as an act of divine retribution, scaring the masses into joining their broadening sphere of influence. Meanwhile, Detective Jin Jiang Hin, played by Yang Ik Jun, is investigating the cult, immediately suspicious of their supposed good deeds and passive stance on the situation. Teaming up with private investigator Min Hye Jin, Kim Hyun Ju, the pair work to figure out what is going on, why the demons are appearing, and what exactly the new truth is up to. Throughout, the savage demon murders occur more rapidly, with the public slowly falling on the side of the new truth out of fear. It is a clear race again time, not only to solve the case, but to potentially save the world from falling into the demonic abyss. What happened at the end of Hellbound? In the sixth and final episode, the new truth is racing to stop the public from finding out that Song So Hyun, Won Jin Ah, and Bae Young Jae's, Park Young Min, newborn baby has been bound to hell. This would dismantle their belief system, but in the end, they fail to stop the news from spreading. Despite the news reaching the public, So Hyun and Young Jae die in the baby's place, leaving newborn Toy alone. That is until Hyun Jin escapes with the baby, protecting the child from the new truth. However, the biggest reveal of the finale is when Park Jiong Ja's body returns to life, even though she was previously killed by the demons. This moment opens up countless questions about the meaning behind the attacks, even throwing into doubt if these monsters are demons at all. It also means that there is a chance that the people that were supposedly killed by the demons weren't being sent to hell at all. They could be going somewhere else, and right now the only person on earth that knows is Jiong Ja. Of course, the show also doesn't give a clear answer to its message. However, in a recent interview with the Korea Herald, showrunner Sang Ho Yeon, the filmmaker behind Train to Busan, gave some insight into its meaning. The director explained that the vision of the series is inspired by his years in college. Song Ho said, During my studies in fine art, I learned that one of the most important aspects in art is to draw and express the world with the artist's original views. Though I am creating something very different from a painting, I always tried to keep this message in my heart when producing a film or drama. This will stay the same in my next project. Please. 